Welcome to the 13th part of Spring Boot Kubernetes tutorial series. In the previous episode, we have seen how to create a React.js application and how to create a Next.js application and then we did a few examples to explore some of the features. In this episode, we are going to create our bookmarker UI application using Next.js and then we are going to use Bootstrap and set up the layout, main layout of the application. I am going to create the UI application using npx create next app command and the product name is bookmarker hyphen UI hyphen next.js and I am specifying we are going to use TypeScript using hyphen hyphen ts flag and this will create the project and we are going to use bootstrap CSS framework for our application and at the time of recording 5.2.0 is the latest version so we are going to install that let us cd into bookmarker application and let us install bootstrap yeah. now we can start the application using yarn dev application is started on port 3000 let us view the application this is the default welcome page uh, from the generated application and if you remember our uh, the first video in our Spring Boot Kubernetes tutorial series, we have shown how the application would look like. So we are going to have a top navbar and we are going to have a search um, uh, form where we can search for uh, based on the keywords in the title. And we will have a list of uh, bookmarks with the pagination support. And there will be a add bookmark uh, link and you can click on it and then a new bookmark form will be shown and then you can create a new bookmark so this is the whole functionality of our application so first let us uh, clean up the generated code a little bit okay so first thing is this is the index page uh, which we have in index.tsx i'm going to remove most of the content from this page okay and we are not going to use this uh, home.module.css as well. I am going to remove these. Okay. And for time being, let us simply display welcome to bookmarker. Okay. And let us remove this home.module.css file. And also from global CSS, let us delete everything. Okay. As we are going to use Bootstrap for our CSS, uh, we need to import Bootstrap CSS. So here under uh, pages, there is underscore app.tsx. So if you want to import anything globally, which is which needs to be available across the application, you can import uh, here. So let us import Bootstrap dist css okay here you can import bootstrap min.css okay now that uh, bootstrap css is available let us uh, display a button to just verify whether um, class name is bdm bdm primary Okay, so let us check how the UI look like. Yep, so uh, it, it is applying bootstrap uh, styles. So we are good to use bootstrap. Let us remove this content and then let us add a navbar and our main content. So here, if you go back to bootstrap site and if you go to docs here, if you scroll down here, you can see there is a navbar. So you can go through how to create a navbar and all these things. I have already prepared the navbar. So I'm just going to paste it over here. And if you take a look at the UI right now, we have this top navbar with the add bookmark link and this uh, application name here. So if below that, we'll have our main content section. Okay, let us uh, display welcome to bookmarker okay but here 
um, we need to add the CSS so that it will display below this top nav bar. So let us go to global CSS here for main. Let us add padding 75 pixel. Okay, now we can see the content here. So right now in our index.tsx file, we have all the header and then main content over here. But uh, as this is going to be a common uh, for across the pages, we should be extracting this into a, a separate component. So let us create a component called navbar uh, under components directory, components slash navbar.tsx. Okay, I'm going to move this header into okay so i have just created a simple component and then uh, returning this entire header as uh, uh, content okay now i am going to import navbar uh, it should display as it is okay cool now we have our index.tsx which is the default uh, welcome page here okay we have navbar and then we are displaying this main content welcome to bookmarker what if we need to create another page uh, like uh, add bookmark right so what we can do let us say we name it as add and let us say add bookmark okay will display new bookmark form here now if you go to um, this and then access slash add it will display this new form new bookmark form fine but here we are uh, keep on repeating the same uh, skeleton layout like uh, including the navbar and then main content so instead of repeating that there is a better way uh, to uh, put the layout in this underscore app.tsx file so instead of repeating this in every page what we can do we can take this navbar and main and go to this underscore app.tsx by default it is rendering whatever the component it needs to render and pass this page props but what we can do let us uh, okay here we are going to we can either put it uh, wrap it, wrap the entire thing in div or we can wrap in a fragment where you can use this empty tags to represent okay let us move it over here and then inside main we are going to render whatever the component that we are trying to render okay so here this acts like a, a layout where we have navbar and then inside main what are the page we are trying to render like index.tsx uh, content add is going to render in this place okay so from here we can now remove this and also main we don't need this okay and from add also we don't need this this one okay now let us see whether it is rendering in the same way okay now it is displaying and if you go to add it's displaying the new book form okay so we are not repeating the same layout in every page we have our uh, layout defined in this underscore app.tsx so basically if you want to import any global styling or, or, or define the common layout you can do this in uh, this underscore app.tsx file now let us go to this navbar and in this navbar component if you notice we are using this plain anchor tags um, to include the links uh, to this uh, root and then to add bookmark so instead of using this anchor tags uh, next while using next.js we should be using link component provided by next so here if you look at uh, 
here there is a link component in next slash link and here we'll wrap our anchor component using link href okay so this is what we are going to use so here we can wrap this with link let us import this and it is going to be root similarly we will wrap or add bookmark component also so here we can remove this href from the anchor tags and this is going to be add okay so now let us test whether it is working or not here if you go to bookmark and if you click on this it is navigating fine also i would like to make one small change where instead of rendering this at root like this i would like to automatically redirect the user to bookmarks by default and then when we try to add i want it to be like bookmarks slash add so what we can do when the user accesses by default it's going to render uh, whatever is the index.tsx page within the pages directory right let us create bookmarks directory and move these two inside that directory so right now it is broken here if you see it is 404 and if you add it's also not going to work so now if you go to bookmarks now it is working fine but we want to add a redirection whenever user accesses the root uh, localhost 3000 we would like to use a redirect to the uh, slash bookmarks page how we can do that if you go to this documentation here under next config.js the redirect section so under redirects you can add this in next config.js file we can add this redirects function which says if this is the uh, path and we want to use it to re redirect to this okay let us add this in our next config so here i'm going to add this if user access slash i want it to redirect to bookmarks okay so with this let us restart and try to access root of our application so it is automatically redirecting to bookmarks now we can so we need to update this path in our navbar so now it should be bookmarks slash add So now it is navigating between the two pages just fine. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we are going to start working on this bookmarks list page where we are going to display a list of bookmarks. Mm -hmm.